Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Ipsy Glam Bag for January, and I know I'm uh, cutting it really close before January is over, but at least it will be up before January is over, so let's get started. So this is what the bag looks like. It's blue on this side and then white on this side. The zipper and the inside are more of an orange coral color, but it is very pretty. I really like the bag. And here are the products that I got in the bag. The first product that I got is this Melon and Goatee's Mojito Lip Balm. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it or not, but I'm just going to go with it. And it says, Daily Protection Soothing Treatment Fatty Acid Absorption Technology. Well, that sounds real fancy. <laughs> and I have been using this every day just before I start doing my makeup that way my lips don't dry out because they really tend to dry out um, while I'm doing my makeup so I'll usually put this on before I start my makeup and it makes my lips so smooth and it does kind of smell um, like pepperminty and it says it's my a mojito lip balm now I'm not 21 so I don't know like what a mojito tastes like or smells like or any of that but it does smell like almost pepperminty and I really like it it does um, feel really soothing on my lips and it feels really good and it does hydrate them which is a plus. The next product that I got is this Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream and it has avocado and argan and this is for normal to dry skin and I have never used an eye cream before so I have gotten used to putting it into my daily routine. Uh, I take my showers at night so after I get out of the shower I'll put on my uh, moisturizer all over my face and then I'll just take a little dab of this it really doesn't take a lot and I'll just pat it underneath my eyes and then in the morning I'll do the same thing before I do my makeup and I'm not quite sure if I can tell a difference or not but it definitely does feel good on my eyelids and um, yeah it has avocado oil that restores and protects Moroccan argan oil that hydrates and replenishes shea butter that moisturizes and conditions it definitely does make my under eyes feel <laughs> a lot softer not that i don't think i had that problem before but i think it also helps um kind of depuff my eyes in the morning because my eyes are pretty puffy in the morning if i slept really hard that night um so i really do like this the next product that i got is a specifica eyeshadow in treasure and it's like almost like a metallic bronze shade Here's a swatch of it. It looks so pretty and I think it would be really good to put in the middle of your eyelid for a highlight if you have a lot of darker stuff going on in uh, the outer parts of your eye. And I haven't really used it that much but the couple of times that I have used it I have really enjoyed it. And you don't have to use this um, in lieu with other products. You can also just use this as a one eyeshadow look. Because it is so pigment, it is really pigmented. And it, I think it looked good on pretty much everyone. The next product that I got is this Elizabeth Mott All Over Eyeshadow Brush. And now here's just the little box that it came in. And on the back it says, Don't miss a spot with this ridiculously soft shadow brush. The densely packed bristles gently place the right amount of color for perfect and even application. Your lids will thank you later. I have started using this pretty much every day since I've gotten it. And... At first when I started using it, I was like, it really doesn't look like there's a lot of product on the brush. But then when I would put it on my eyelid, I was like, oh, yeah, there is a lot of product on there. You just can't tell. And it really does pack on a lot of color. I used it uh, in lieu with the Pacifica eyeshadow, and it does such a great, awesome job. I absolutely love it. And I just have been using this with my Lorac Pro palette in mauve and I've just been putting that all over my lid as my base shadow and if you do not have uh, this brush I would definitely recommend it. This is the first Elizabeth Mott product that I have ever owned and I really do enjoy it. I think it does a wonderful job. The next product that I got is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics and I'm guessing this is like a all over uh, eyeshadow in SP042 in Excite and it's just like a white highlight so here's a swatch of it you can't really see it that well just because it's a white shimmery eyeshadow 
but I feel like you could use it to highlight underneath your brow bones, your inner eye duct, and your cupid's bow, and it probably would work pretty well with the eyeshadow that I got in my glam bag, uh, just to use to highlight the center of your eyelid, uh, or you can pretty much do whatever you want. You could even highlight your cheeks with it, but I don't think I'll be using it that much just because I don't like things that shimmery or that white to use just because I feel like it washes me out but I feel like it is a good product and it is loose a loose powder so you have to be really careful with it or it will get everywhere so those are all the products that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag for January thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of my videos or more of my face just make sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time Bye.